Kirk Cousins may be the top target at quarterback, but Case Keenum is a free agent quarterback who took his team to the postseason in 2017 to the NFC Championship, in fact. So which team could Keenum lead to the playoffs next? Whether you want to see it, you think you might see it, what do you guys got? Same team you did last year, Minnesota Vikings. Mm. Vikings whiff on Cousins. I would immediately go to Case Keenum and be like, look, cards on the table. We went for Cousins. You know that. We know that. We also had something really special last year. I would go to Case Keenum. I think also Case Keenum is smart enough and self-aware enough to not be spurned by that, to not be in his feelings about that, and to know what they had last year was really incredible. Yeah. And they could be right back in the playoffs. If they don't get Cousins, you get that guy. It is a good question, though, because he is a competitor, and he is a guy who's very proud of what he's done in this league and to be doubted again for them to say we're gonna go all in on Cousins I, I just did it for you like does he need to, to me if Cousins does go to Minnesota or does go to the Jets Denver is very interesting for Case Keenum I like the fact that he's got a Gary Kubiak connection they were together down there in Houston and I think they've got a lot of weapons and a defense very similar kind of team as the Vikings were good defense young receivers Case Keenum to Denver, and then you draft a rookie in the first round, and he kind of holds the torch until that guy's ready. I like that for Denver. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the NFC West and the conversation that keeps popping up. Man, maybe it's the 9 o'clock hour, and I know that people on the West Coast are just waking Might up. Be. But you look at Russell Wilson, Jared Goff, and, of course, Jimmy Garoppolo, who looked amazing last year. There's a piece missing. Arizona Cardinals, who's the next quarterback? We know that Drew Stanton is a free agent. Carson Palmer retired. What are we going to do moving forward? Because they have enough pieces not to hit the reset button completely and rebuild. Mm -hmm. If they get a guy like Case Keenum, he goes out there. You're playing with Larry Fitzgerald. You got David. Like, I feel like any quarterback, whether you're a free agent, a rookie, you're new to a squad, new to a city, new to a team, if you have a superstar running back, a guy that is in the MVP conversation, that makes things so much easier for you. So I would say Arizona, if they get a quarterback like Case Keenan and he play like he did last year, they could do some let, damage. Let me ask an honest question because we, we celebrate Case Keenum a lot. Sure. If you're a team and you've got a hole at quarterback and you are getting to this, you know, Mark Forty and you get the release and the update, Cardinals sign Case Keenum. Are you excited? Because you're going to play against them? No, no. If you're a Cardinals fan, oh, it's like, we got Case Keenum. Not terribly excited. No, I I'll be honest. I think Case Keenum was in the right team at the right time last year. Great Truly. Line, great Truly. You're more excited Everything. if you Everything. sign Everything. Kirk Cousins? Pieces. Yeah, because I think he's more talented, and I think he has more upside. I truly do, and I don't want to throw shade at Case Keenum. We love him. I thought he should have been invited to the Heisman Ceremony for the NFL last year. He was that good. I think it was where he was, those pieces he were with. I absolutely. I don't know if Arizona has those pieces. I'm excited. I, I look at what he did last year, and I know it's easy to say, well, you know, he had digs, and Thielen played unbelievable, but you got, this star running back went down early in the season, and, and then guys like McKinnon stepped up, Latavia mm -hmm. stepped up. Of course, the defense was good, but there were some games where he was lights out. I remember K did a blind resume last year that blew all of our minds. We said, great. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Case Keenum is playing like the best quarterback in football, mm -hmm. and we, quick, we quickly swept that under the rug because we just want to look at the glitz and the gamma and all the yards. Look at an undrafted guy. Who's so why didn't, the, why didn't they come out and say, this is our guy, the guy. rest of the season? Why did they have t Teddy Bridgewater warming up week 10 yeah. when Case Keenum wasn't having a great second half? Why would that be the case if Case Keenum was the guy? Why would they let him test free agency? Why wouldn't they tag him this year if he was the guy? If his own person that sees him day in, day out, and Mike Zimmer doesn't feel that way. It's very simple because your resume... How you enter the league sometimes can become a stain on you, mm. especially at the quarterback position. It's easy for a wide receiver to shake how he got in. Free agent, late round draft pick, traded a couple times. That means he'll be a value to Arizona Got or benched, Denver. got spended. Running backs, you can do whatever you want. You start making plays as a skill player, you can reinvent yourself. At a quarterback, though. you'll always be that late round, that free agent, that guy who was almost there. You'll always be a second string quarterback that just so happened to play like a first stringer that one year. Until you get paid and do it again. If he does it again, now we got to erase all that. I think it's fair to, to wait and see. He has to, he has to prove. He has to win yeah. me over. Just like Tom Brady. Tom Brady has to win us over. Look how long that took.